Jack, I'll give you one guess as to the name of this gamepad. I'd say it's the Lee... Uh, Incorrect. It's the WNO wireless controller compatible with Xbox 360, 2.4 gigahertz gamepad joystick wireless controller compatible with Xbox 360 and PC Windows 7, 8, 10, 11 with receiver black, otherwise known as... Wireless controller. So yes, this is pretty much the best rated, especially for the price, wireless controller available on Amazon right now. And so you're not confused. It is indeed a wireless controller. I'm gonna just start unboxing this. All of the packaging on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> they just slap the receiver nice. in there. There's, it's not wrapped in anything. And it looks very much like an actual Xbox controller, which we have an example of right here. Yes, this is uh, the official Microsoft One Windows 10 compatible. It's got the USB dongle like this. I'll go ahead and tell you, this one, it's a little bit lighter than this. 9.8 ounces, 9.2 ounces. And I mean, this is about $60, $70 when I got it and the crispiness. Okay, the triggers is probably the biggest difference. Like the triggers on the Xbox controller, way nicer. I actually kind of like the stiffness of, of these joysticks a little bit. One thing else about this is, I mean, this is based off the original 360 design, which mm -hmm. personally, I do prefer that controller. Just, yeah. I don't know, it fits better in my hand. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they literally made this in the same factory as the Xbox 360 controllers. And when they discontinued the 360, they were just like, oh, we're gonna make the controller still. We got the mold. Yeah, because I mean, like it takes the same AA packs and everything like that as the original 360 controller. These USB dongles, I've had it. Like I tried it on my Steam Deck, I plugged these in, instantly worked. This on the other hand, with its Wi-Fi dongle is a pain. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't on the Steam Deck. On my computer it even goes in and out occasionally. Mm -hmm. And now I haven't tried this on a computer, but I mean, the fact that it worked instantly on the Steam Deck, I mean, that's, that's a really nice feature, not having to go into the drivers and be like, okay, do I have to, which, how do I get these to work? Absolutely. Let's actually hook this up to an emulator and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, that's good gaming. So now we have the controllers hooked up to our emulator. We just hooked up to our CRTV and we are ready to get gaming. One thing I'm noticing right off the bat when we have these things uh, plugged in, it's really cool. Uh, if we can get this, Jesse, we got uh, my controller showing light number one and his is showing light number two to indicate that mine's primary, his is secondary. We got our, our Botticera box uh, right here. And if you wanna see No Plan do a video on Botticera, let us know in the comments below. We're gonna go over here to GameCube. And uh, it's really hard to read on this TV, but uh, but yeah, we wanted to we wanted to use this TV to kind of give it a uh, a whirl and do it kind of old school. The thing is, I've already mapped, and this was actually kind of interesting. I had already mapped my Botticera box to my Logitech uh, F three tens, and they're also pretty good. Um, but we didn't have to remap anything here. The, the the layout worked and stuff like that. So if you're mixing controllers and stuff like that, it shouldn't be so much of a problem. And GameCube here is going through the Dolphin emulator. Let's get into this game. We'll uh, hit start here. Now, one thing I do remember that you had said, Jack, and I'm gonna give it a test here, is you said that it was, uh, you were having some issues with it not being line of sight. Yes. So, I mean, also I was about, I'd say 10, 15 feet away. And sure. so also the thing is I was trying to cross my legs and <laughs> would go through my knee, which was really irritating with the game I was trying really? to play. Really? I'm trying underneath the table right now, and I'm not having an issue. Well, except that I hit that. That's why I landed on this one. And it's kind of funny we landed on the same one without <laughs> knowing know. it, because I started cycling based off price. I didn't really want to spend any more than about 25 bucks for a controller. And if you want like a really nice one that's USB and can do all this stuff, I mean, you can get them, but they are $60, $70. Mm -hmm. And this thing's only 20, 22 and a half bucks, something like that on Amazon. You just can't beat that. Oh yeah, and especially like the connection just working. Oh yeah. Even compared to the $60 controller I have. Like, Plug and play, no drivers, nothing. And uh, this is like, again, like I said, a Botticera box and you know, it's a, it's a game console OS and it had no problem picking up these controllers and just working with oh, it. Oh yeah, I'm impressed. I was not expecting much because I bought really crappy controllers before, like PS3 ones and they were mushy. Oh <laughs> you, yeah. You jam the button in and it just stays there. Racing game. It was great. I didn't notice any stick drift or anything like that. Uh, the buttons obviously were, were feeling good. So let's try just one more game here. If I can, if I can read it. <laughs> yeah, it gives a whole little story and it's actual screenshots for the movie. I love how they did that. Yeah. Just. <laughs> It's funny, so I can't tell on this TV, but on my uh, projector at home, it, you can actually tell that they're pretty low quality GIFs. <laughs> this TV, man, though, this was a good buy. It like was, It wasn't a buy, it was free. People, <laughs> okay. people give these things away. Can you believe that? So, I mean, yeah, so Mario Kart, Toy Story 2, that's N64 and GameCube. I mean, it's working great with both, uh, but the controller itself, again, 
just feels really good. Oh yeah, and I mean, aside from those minor connection issues, uh, that's, I mean, I have nothing really bad to say about this. Final verdict on the WO wireless controller compatible with Xbox 360, 2.4 gigahertz gamepad, I give up. What would you rate? I'd give this a solid seven out of 10. For me, I mean, obviously it's not as nice as a real one, but I, it does the job and it's so much better than anything else out there on Amazon because a lot of them are just crap. Yeah, I know that I'm being a lot less picky here, but the fact of the matter is if you gave me this or an Xbox controller, I really would not be too deterred to choose this one. I mean, it's, it's honestly impressive. I would give it an eight out of a 10, but we need to get somebody else's take. Oh yeah, um, let's get Jesse's take. How you like it then? So I feel like I have had a very good experience with this controller, but you know what else is a great experience, Jack? I don't know, uh, <laughs> subscribing to No Plan Channel? I mean, hitting that like button. What else we got? Don't miss a single thing. Comment down below. Let us know, are you getting this? Do you want to get this? What are your experiences with it? Let us know in the comments. We'll catch you next time.